I'm Sarela Martinez, and this is day seven of Alone One Cannot Share Life. And I can't believe seven days have passed and I have not mentioned my mother, the greatest influence of my life, an indomitable woman, a force of nature, a woman of great intelligence and charm and beauty, who fashioned this persona about her that made her unforgettable. I lost her two years ago. But uh, she's still here. You can hear her playing the piano. And she's still in my heart. But my mother had grown up in the ranch with a father who had three daughters. And he used to say, I'd rather have a daughter that's a whore than one that's lazy. So she had this very strong work ethic which she passed on to me. And she was hard. I mean, she was hard on us, you know, especially on me, because I was the oldest. If I fell off the horse, she'd say, get back on it right now. If I was afraid to do something, she'd say, I'm out of the way, well, make some balls and just do it. She wanted me and my sisters to grow up to be strong and determined and disciplined like she was. So that was one side of her, but on the other side, she wanted us to have a beautiful childhood because she had a firm conviction that uh, a woman's life was really, really hard. You know, from the moment you start growing up and you're prepubescent and your body starts to change and you don't feel comfortable and and then you find that you get a boyfriend and he breaks your heart and then you get married and maybe you're happy and maybe you're not and you have children, but a beautiful childhood nobody could take away from you. And she wanted us to build this album of beautiful memories and if we were depressed, she thought nothing of driving eight hours to La Jolla so that we could just sit and listen to the breakers. And that would soothe our soul. Or she'd serve up her money and, and take us to New York so we could have breakfast in bed at the plaza. Or to Utah so that we could see everything covered in snow and by the snowmobile. But I think the greatest gift she gave us is that every single day when we were there, she would always say something nice to us. Oh, honey, you look so pretty today, or your hair is so shiny, your skin is so radiant, or what are you wearing? You smell so nice. And she did this with everybody. She was just sort of concentrated on a person, and she would just say exactly the right thing that would make that person just smile and and she wanted us to learn to do that too because she always said you don't know what kind of a day that person might be having honey and if you say something nice to them you could make their whole day for them and I try to do that and I try to teach my kids to do that and um, this is episode one of Aida Gabilondo de Martinez, like she used to say, and she's playing in the background, she used to play the piano, and I hope you will join me for more stories about her and other people I've met along the way. Hasta luego.